If ocean shipping were a country, it would be the sixth largest carbon emitter, releasing more CO2 into the atmosphere each year than Germany. Today, fossil-fueled international shipping accounts for about 2.2% of all global greenhouse gas emissions. But hope for slashing these climate destabilizing releases lies on the near horizon. Wind, solar, electric, and hydrogen-powered ships offer innovative low or no carbon alternatives to fossil fuel powered freight and passenger vessels. Wind power especially is about to make a big comeback. New sail freight ship designs, radically different from the clipper ships of olden days, are being experimented with today. They range from ships with hard sails resembling vertical airplane wings, to rotor sails that are rotating cylinders, to kites that help pull vessels along, to air lubrication systems that allow ships to glide atop bubbles under their hulls. As demand for carbon-neutral transportation surges, these revolutionary freight-laden ships could transform the industry by 2030. But some sailing companies, relying on both old and new technologies, are already hauling cargo and doing their part to curb the climate crisis. That includes startup ventures like Fair Transport and its retrofitted wooden vessels Tres Hombres and Nordlis. Modest-sized proof-of-concept companies like Grand de Sel and the schooner Apollonia, and large cargo-carrying retrofits and purpose-built ships like Neoline's new vessels. Our current global maritime cargo fleet remains dependent on gigantic fossil-fueled container ships, a fragile system vulnerable to sudden oil shortages, soaring fuel prices, and conflicts in oil-producing states. Today's carbon-dependent trade also fails to pay for negative externalities such as carbon emissions and environmental pollution, and avoids being governed by meaningful labor, environmental, health, and other laws. Better than asking whether we will be prepared for the new age of sail is knowing that changes both predicted and unpredicted are happening, with more on the way. The question then becomes, how should we prepare? How can a new approach to ocean-going transport be developed quickly that responds effectively to the climate emergency while also thriving economically? What sort of cargo-carrying vessels will help preserve our current standard of living while being equitable, inclusive, and just in delivering benefits for future decades and generations? The last age of sail faded away in the 1930s, when huge steel sailing ships still carried non-time-sensitive cargoes. Back then, Captain Gustav Eriksson, a sail freight visionary, predicted that a new golden age for sailing ships was on the horizon. Sooner or later, he insisted, the world's supply of coal and oil would run out. Steam and diesel engines would become so many lumps of metal fit only for salvage. And those who still knew how to haul freight across the ocean with only the wind for power would have the seas and the world's cargoes all to themselves. That day seems about to arrive. <laughs>